Yes. All right. What does that mean? <gasps> oh, my. Oh. oh. Yes. Welcome back, gay schools, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The, the Horror, Horror Bandwagon. Band Hi, my name is Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for horror analysis. Criticism. I'm spooky, ukya. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And welcome back to another Scream Queens reaction. Today, we're going to be reacting to episodes 11 and 12. These are officially the penultimate episodes. That leaves us with one more video where we're going to be reacting to the finale. And we figured that we leave the finale episode on a separate video so that way we can really soak it all in. Just marinate in the juices. <laughs> exactly. And also just give you guys our overall thoughts of the whole show in general. But we know that you are just as excited as we are to get into these episodes. So before we get started, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon. And don't forget to join our Discord where you can talk to us about Screen Queens and anything else that's on your mind. The link is going to be in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, the holidays. That festival. Oh, we're covering the holidays? Yes. Well, yeah, because iconically, once it hits 12 on Thanksgiving, yep. it's officially Christmas. Mm -hmm. You got all your clothing hand delivered by A list designers. True. But Black Friday isn't about me. Oh, God. The obvious cheapness of the gift makes them question our friendship and makes them way easier to manipulate as they try desperately to get back on my good side. Oh my God. I love this. I love that Chanel is actually just into Black Friday and into deals. Is this black toilet paper? Yes, Merry Christmas, Summer Buzz. <laughs> then, once I bought a crack gift. That is definitely something you find at Bed Bath & Beyond. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's truly no better whale watching than a good old American. Someone stopped their wedding and uh -huh. were like, I need to go to the Black Friday deals. Because who could have predicted Black Friday? Docs to let me in a half hour early. <sighs> this really sends them oh into Oh my a God. <laughs> of course, she would just like live for the torture of other people. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> she is such an icon. One of a kind. At first, I was like, what a weird turkey. And then it clicked. Damn. His head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. And I'm like, Gigi's roast head actually smells kind of delicious. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> that was a gag. That literally took us by surprise. And we didn't think we could be more surprised by this. Yeah. Show. Gotta run. Or we'll be late for the midnight hippo stampede at Walmart. No, no, no. Oh my God. I still think to me. your theory of it being Abigail Breslin's character, I think it might be. I'm on it. I'm on board. How badly you failed. Kappa House is alive and well, and it's your university that's been shut down. I think it's... I will say, this has to be like the... 16th monologue of someone yeah. just reading someone for being the obvious killer. They make frenzied, ill thought out purchases of cheap, crappy garbage they can't afford and don't need to deny us of that right. Being being read, mm -hmm. us, yeah. we are being read. Cause did I camp out at, at Best Buy for like what, DVDs that were on sale? Yes, I did, in the cold. Mm -hmm. I remember waiting in the cold. Where do you think his office is? Detective, we called to report another murder, but no one has come to check. Oh, has he been fired? You guys are wasting your time talking to me. I was just fired. They fired the entire homicide department and the chief of police. Most of the you- That's suspicious. Right now as we speak to take over. And uh, I'm opening my own interior design company. So if any of you need some- Oh, you know what? Live your dream. Should I get number five a pair of 99 cent brass studs that'll turn her earlobes green and give her an infection or... <laughs> oh 
you know Uncle Carl gives me Chanel swag for free, right? So why would you feel the need to waste $13,000 buying me something I already have? Oh, no. Using my disgusting wealth to buy my friends crap, I should use my disgusting wealth to buy my friends things they would actually enjoy. <sighs> She's having a revelation. She's like, Scrooge. Pink Jeeps on like an African safari or something. How do we know that they're gonna have four identical pink Jeeps? Yeah, and how are we gonna get the Jeeps to Africa? I mean, are we gonna ship them or? Oh, we can ship them. <laughs> and I buy you all pink Jeeps. Take the win number five. Jeeps. Oh no, I uh -huh. don't like this. Oh my God. Did they not notice that no one else was in this mall? Yeah, I never known a mall to have like be open for Black Friday, at least in my hometown. Oh no, we're locked okay, in. Okay, well, that's I feel like is also ineffective. Oh, oh shit! Is that a arrow? It's a crossbow. It's a crossbow. I just said arrow. I went for it. I didn't know what it was. Oh, no. Wait, are there still two? Oh. oh, wait, no, that's the same one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, she's not. We can't kill Chanel. I'd riot if we do. All right, Red Devil, you were like just on the first floor, I believe. Yeah, but you gotta run all around so you can make iconic entrances. Make an entrance. This is like Frankenfurter. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, you're not gonna. Oh, you're not gonna. Oh! 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 Come on! Finish me up! Oh my god! It's just a wound. It's just a wound. Oh! My god. Oh, baby girl! Oh. Yes! I a job and I caught a killer. <laughs> oh, wait, she got a job in the homicide department. When did that happen? Well, they were just interviewing people, remember? Oh, yeah. And they hired Denise Hemfield, because clearly I'm the. Oh, keep the gun on him. I keep know. the gun. <gasps> Damn, he shot him. <laughs> and he getting away. So. <laughs> Just start shooting! I know! Why didn't I shoot him when I had the chance? I was just talking so much! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Denise. Oh my god. I love her character so much. Trash Mandy Greenwall? Miss Bean? Oh, hold on. You killed Miss Bean. I didn't turn on the deep fire, bitch! Like it or not, <laughs> we're sisters. That's me telling you. <laughs> like, she did not turn that on! The only way we're gonna stop the murders is by killing Dean Munch. What? No. They result in killing everybody, yeah. like, immediately. I also think that Dean Munch is the killer. Thank you, Talking Pumpkin. <laughs> I have been talking all year about how I want this house to become a true sisterhood. Okay, this monologue alone makes me feel like it's, it's Grace. But no, that doesn't make any sense. She's been around too much. Dean Munch has to die. What? Well, I'm sorry, but she is a vindictive, immoral woman who no one is gonna miss. See, this like flip of character for this me is, is getting me suspicious. Especially like Kiki Palmer be like, this isn't like you. Meeting of the Dickie Dollar Scholars is now called to order. Oh, Chad, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Hold up, Earl Grey has to read the minutes from last week's meeting. Earl Grey's dad, honey. Biting his lip and giving everyone the finger because you know he just don't care about nothing. To be Martinez. What? My awesome Xbox with the connect thing. Uh, uh, <laughs> to Pete Martinez. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Please stop Wait. interrupting my dead game. Is it really for him? My HBO Go password to Pete Martinez. The shoebox under my bed that's filled with bottles of lube to Pete Martinez. Unless he was trying to frame him. Maybe. You are not lovers. You do not bequeath a shoebox full of lube to an acquaintance, Pete Martinez. He was my source. <laughs> eyes and ears inside Greek system at this school. When I decided to study the history of Kappa Kappa Tau, I went to him. He was- Huh. Ah, okay. That's still suspicious. That kind of reminds me of the time last year when you tried to join the Dollar Scholars despite having no experience with caddying. Ooh. I am so Why? glad that we're revealing you more about him. Dicky Dollar Scholar. Ah, uh, thank you, Earl Grey, for gracing our presence. Worst Dicky Dollar Scholar pledge candidate I've ever seen. Worst. You don't know anything about golf, and you don't even own John Mayer's debut album, Room for Squares. Uh, 
that you started stalking my sort of hot, sort of girlfriend Chanel for a full year. Well, I'm gonna let you- Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I'm inviting you to join the Dinky Dollar Scholars. What? There's only one member so far. On this campus in the first place. So no, Chad, I'm not gonna join your stupid Dicky Dollar Scholars. Thanks anyway. Damn. Tradition that if you're offered membership in the Dicky Dollar Scholars and you refuse membership in the Dicky Dollar Scholars, you must duel. Let's duel. Let's duel. Let's duel. Let's duel. It's time to duel. You choose sabers, guns, baseball bats. And you chose a golf club. <laughs> this does feel like something that you should say before. Yeah, I need <laughs> to know this, man. Forfeiting your life would be brother. You will get murdered, P. Martinez. Murdered to death. Oh, murdered to death. That's a threat. <laughs> Understand that as a millennial feminist. It's... Wait a minute, that's a thing? Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. And, uh, being a millennial feminist means. <laughs> oh my God. Is this apple cider? How did you know that was my favorite? How come all the pictures on her wall are selfies? Does she not have any friends? Shut up, hoe bag. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, look at her status. Just waiting for my next delicious cup of apple cider. It's, it's my, my favorite. favorite. <laughs> <laughs> that will give it away. To feminism. And what feminism means to me. Oh, I hate the sloshing. The drop is enough to kill a man instantly. Better put in the whole thing just to be sure. I want to be there. Oh, for fish dies. venom? Is that a thing? Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh, that's bliss. So, where do we begin? I mean, hey, girl. I also love apple cider. Oh, it was the beginning of my women of my generation to school that woman was Susan's oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah well excuse you all right girls since you have no other classes I am going to ask that you write 10,000 words on the militant suffragette movement <laughs> oh my God Girl, I regret coming. No sense. And now I have to write a stupid term paper. Maybe this was a blessing. Maybe they just, I don't know, mixed up the jars. They did have three jars. Or Leah Michelle also just gave them the wrong stuff. Yeah. And then Dean Munch killed you. Well, that would be hard for you. Uh, Girl. yeah, that would be hard for me, obviously. I don't get why Matthew McConaughey is like his sexy voice to do. I don't know, but I'll forgive it. Will you? Yeah. I will not. I'm choosing not to forgive it. <laughs> I don't rage on Tuesday nights or have competitions about how many girls I can have sex with in one day. Ugh. Sometimes I kind of side with the Red Devil. Can you, like, not ominously talk about murder? Yeah, that's, not, that's a strange thing to bring up. It's making it harder to, like, realize who is the killer. Yeah. The structure they're buying into is, is antiquated. It's misogynistic and hierarchical and dangerous. Oh, I can't even say that. In hierarchical? What to do this? Grace. Oh my I God. In the middle of a murderous spree? I really do. I just, um, I don't think I'm in the right headspace right now. Okay. You're worth the wait. Okay. We're watching you. I'm watching both of them. One person in the ER all night, but it was some dude who needed help getting a Lego figure out of his rectum. What an idiot. <laughs> it was Chad Radwell. What? Oh! Or he sets a perimeter of Lego characters to guard his bed while he sleeps, but this time he decided to do it after and accidentally sat on Lego Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh no! We need to think of new ways to kill her! No. <gasps> I'm not doing this. What? Two Girl. hours ago, you were like, let's poison the bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was. She was. That's not a lie. We witnessed it. Sorry, Jack Skellington. You're out. Fine. It was really great getting to know all of you. I'm really going to cherish our time here. I mean, yeah, go home. Mm -hmm. I think Chanel is right. Killing is wrong, but under this circumstance, I don't know what other choice we have. Um. All right, now I'm confuzzled. You like, have I'm lots so... of other choices. This is strange. Now I am confused because they're just totally flipping on us. Yeah. What are you doing? Um, I'm just doing some research. You're not going to believe what we found. We? Hey, <laughs> Grace. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. Are you... Uh, this is like weird. It. 
I don't like it. Lots of weirdness in this episode. Yeah, it, it feels unsettling a little bit. Yeah. Breakdown after her sister, Amy, committed suicide just a few months earlier. Gigi's sister was the one who took the babies that night. Oh. <gasps> So Gigi raised those babies to be killers to get revenge on Kappa and the people responsible for the death of her sister. Wow, Dad. Got it, got it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to go because I have enough info to start writing my story. I just need to know who the killer is so I have an ending. I'm gonna... If he dies in the next few minutes, then I'm, I am I can't think anymore. I can't <laughs> theorize anymore. Cryo sauna is set to 200 degrees below zero, so any water on your skin will freeze instantly. Well, I am just so excited about this. I follow Jennifer. So they're going to freeze her? I guess so. Oh my God. Who wants to go first? Dean Munch, I always say age before beauty. <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> I know, wait, <laughs> that doesn't entice me. Hey. Yes, girl, rocking the body, do it up. Oh. I can't. I can't handle the cold, so I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy that. Number six, you got the body bag? Check. Okay, the car's idling out back. We'll pull Bitch Popsicle from the freezer, throw her in the trunk, and make trouble. Bitch Popsicle, <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, they actually. <laughs> <laughs> what? I felt better. <laughs> yes! Is she Jason? No, she's Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> she's Jamie Lee, the, the final girl that you cannot kill. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're referencing that a little bit. What do you want? Because I'm leaving campus just like you should. Look, we need to get away while we still Wait, can. What? What? Don't you ever call me again. I don't know what to think. Oh, we know he has this suit in here. Okay, you incompetent heifers. What does that mean? Uh, God damn it. Lexi of his hemophilia. Okay, this seems totally not germane to what we're talking about, so can we please just skip ahead? No! Listen. Oh, Leia. Loading downstream, Rasputin's nails were gone. He tried clawing himself oh. out of the ice. Ah! Didn't like that. Didn't like that. I'm gonna try on the size zero because I won't fit into the size zero. I fit into the size four, but I'm not gonna leave this or with a bunch of size fours. I'm gonna leave this or with a bunch of size zeros. I really don't know what you're asking. Yeah, yeah, girl. I, I, I just don't know what you're asking. I... Okay, what I am asking you to do is to take all the tags off of the size zeros and put them onto the size fours. So... Oh. Make her happy. She has nothing. Oh no. Give her girl. Give her now, what was that sign again? Oh, that was when they're all supposed to go down to the pool so they can drown Dean Munch. Yeah. Why are you carrying a bag clearly filled with chains? Um, bondage. <laughs> uh, well, where is everybody? Is she in on it? I don't know. It's because there's a serial killer on the loose in the entire campus. Has been evacuated. Yes. We could talk about bondage and go for a swim. <laughs> yeah. This is so nerve wracking. Yeah, I know. Ooh. Girl, Jimmy Lee Curtis can still give me goosebumps. I thought she was going to push her right then and there. Me too. It was an overcomplicated plan anyway. <laughs> Hey, you're all mm. packed up. Yeah, and in the dark. Oh, never mind. You have a light. Sorry. <laughs> Woods and, and right or something like 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 the road, uh, but with Wi-Fi. Oh, um, were you gonna come say goodbye and tell me that? Yeah, exactly. That's why he was like, let's get it mm. on before. Even how long forever is gonna be, considering we're being hunted down one by one. But no matter what. Slowly over thirteen episodes. Yes. But yes, hunted down one by one. Of course I know you. Why would you say that? What is going on? Pete, why not, Pete? Why? Pete why, Pete? Tell us. Because.
Tell us. Well, just take off your shirt and tell us. I don't want your first time to be with a murderer. <gasps> oh, I feel like this is going to be a, a fucking like cliffhanger. Yeah, it's a cliffhanger, but I feel like it's a different road. Like it, it was like a murderer well, because be like I ran over a duck. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, like I feel like that's what's gonna happen over here. Hurt you? I promise you're safe. That was part of the deal. You can never be touched. What deal? What is happening? It's conspiracies. Conspiracies. <laughs> I followed him inside, saw him taking off his costume. It was boom. And they had sex. No, okay, never mind. Different film, different film. <laughs> totally going to, I swear. But then he started talking to me. He laid the whole thing out. Why he was doing what he was doing. How yes. Kappa had to be stopped. How oh, they couldn't afford Nick Jonas for one more episode. <laughs> <laughs> and then I realized his mission and our mission were the same. Our what? mission never involved killing anyone. Except for like literally last night. Oh yeah, that's true, that's true. Oh, you knew that she, he was gonna throw that in right. her face. That the only way to really, really bring Chanel and her tight down was bringing them all the way down to the ground, under the ground. No, shut up. You, you're the killer. Or one of the killers? He's a killer, or not a killer. Or at least part of the plan. Being verbally abused about being a pound of her weight or not having the right pair of Air Jordans. 104 deaths, Grace. Now remember, Grace. You're about to fuck him. I know. She's having her Sydney Prescott moment right uh -huh. now. Realizing the guy that she loved is a murderer. Never found out who they were. Stop rationalizing it. You killed people. You are not allowed to just say, yeah, but I had a super good reason for it. <gasps> oh, okay, wait. He. All right. So Honestly? He looks kind of good at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> He deserves a good smack. I really liked you. Just like a very nice soap opera, like, ha! Yeah. You just Stop. hear what I have to say. To understand why I did what I did, you could still love me. <laughs> All right, Grace. All right, give me performance. Mm -hmm. She's like, I'm not wearing my hat. I can finally be free. <laughs> As the Kappa girls. But Grace, you have to understand, I had no choice. No, 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 no. They showed up one day thinking that I was a double agent, that I couldn't be trusted. They we still have one killer that we don't know about. We I did this for you. Don't you understand? I did this to be one of the good guys, Grace. But you're one of the bad guys. You are the bad guy. Stay in line. Mm. Onichi said you have your way, I have my way, as for the right. Oh my God. How many times? Drink when he doesn't, Mac Matthew McConaughey oh and Preston. It's just, maybe the Red Devil has the right idea. Okay, just because she said it doesn't mean she actually is, wants to do it. You're quoting Nietzsche. You were already a murderer, Pete. You don't have to be a douche as well. <laughs> Say it, girl. Got him. She's wrecking up. She's wrecking up in yeah. my list of favorite characters. Which is why I decided to make it all stop. So I killed Milton. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I knew this was my chance to finally end this. Gigi was the planner, the George Clooney. Oh, okay, so she was, he was the second killer all along. Except for shooting Chanel with a crossbow and then that other police guy, but that was that, you were right. That was you. But did he kill Gigi? This is almost sounding like he didn't kill Gigi. You and I never talked about what she did to me last year. She led me on for months. She said she was. Oh, we're seeing the other side of this now. <laughs> you are ridiculously and laughably oh. gullible. I can't believe Ow. that you actually. They also couldn't afford every Ariana Grande for one more episode because mm -hmm. she's not, she's not here. It's you, Pete. You are everything I have been fighting against. I never want to see you again. Tell him. Tell him. But if you leave, I won't be able to tell you who the other killer is. Did she leave? Spoiler alert. It's one of your sisters. Oh! <gasps> no, it's not. Well, tell me, who is it? Sit down. It's Chanel number five. It has to be. Nice samples from all the Kappas.
Oh, oh, bro. Dude. So this guy's just a creep. They need like higher security in this place. Who is the other baby in the bathtub? Do it. Say it. You're not gonna believe it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Another oh, no. Wait, I'm conflicted about him. Oh no. Wow. That was nuts. Uh huh. That was nuts. Attention, all useless Kappa sluts. Oh Congratulations. My God. If you're reading this, it means you've overcome the limitations of your tiny. I'm getting like complete burn buck. Oh yeah. Then felicitations, this missive is for you. So. Do you all remember when we agreed to meet at the campus pool this and kill great. the dean and I got you all- I, yeah, all this, huh? the writing on the wall, it's so good. So simple that an orangutan could have figured it out. Like literally a circus ape of moderate intelligence could have looked down at the phone sticking out of the- So she's posting about conspiring Killing. to kill the dean, yeah. right? Simple orangutan level instructions. Because what I remember is that none of you showed up, which meant I had to sit at that stupid pool- Oh, she is mad mad called liquid gold colonics for young sluts like if you were doing literally anything else you all should seriously consider doing the human race a favor and oh. because if this serial killer targeting kappa house doesn't chop off your heads i'm gonna do it so i can sell your tiny whore brain pants oh no extra hot pumpkin spice latte and more news coming from wallace university where an alleged serial killer continues to stalk the campus and that insane sorority <laughs> rant Oh, did she by accident send it to everybody? How did this happen? Oh, what? Including weird websites that nobody has heard of who've used my name as clickbait. And to all the relentless unwashed hordes on Twitter. You can honestly say this monologue today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, duh, with an ass. Like a snake? Yes. I like Cleopatra. I ordered an asp online so I could kill myself like Cleopatra. Oh, there we go. This isn't an asp. It's a garter snake. No, it isn't. Look at its markings. What markings? This is a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you say crazy means stuff to me all the time, and I have a real problem with your casual racism, which is something we need to work on. Mm -hmm. Yes. Words really mean something, and they can hurt people. So... I thought she learned this lesson like three episodes ago, but I guess not. Whatever it takes. <gasps> what? <laughs> yes! All right! Well, that's just great. Wait, who is it? Who is it? What's going on? <laughs> oh, do you think it's like a prank? Prank person? She made me do it! No, how did you do it? Have you seen this guy before? No! Uh, uh, he where? smells like a pizza parlor! <laughs> what the hell is going on? Who is that guy? We have no idea, neither of us have seen him before. Okay, but like, okay, it was so weird. they're there. there. So who could it be? And when this girl appeared out of nowhere with a shawl covering her face. Oh, great news, the hag of Shady Lane has a sister. No one cares. No, she what has scars all over. Oh, that could be her. There's nothing terrifying about that. She kept saying something, something dork, saying I'm, so I'm a dork or something dork. Number six. Dork it's dork ass. Words. Who is this guy? He looks kind of cute. I had delivered a pizza to this address and someone what? answered the door in this costume. Pizza! Wait, there's pizza? <laughs> Dynamite! Oh! <gasps> <gasps> oh! <gasps> what? It's a bomb. And what? She said she wouldn't, the only way she wouldn't kill me is if I came in here and I killed everyone. And if I didn't, she'd detonate the bomb. Get out. Yeah, y'all should go. Poor guy, I'm sorry. Oh my God. I don't think that's far enough. They went for it. 
They blew the guy up. Uh-huh. Girl, this is too much. Jesus. I knew this this was gonna be a, some wild episodes. Yes, you heard what number six said. Clearly, Melanie Dorcas is stalking the campus with a shovel in a veil, all pissed off because her face got burnt off. And oh, I thought she died. So did I. Imagine if I had. I mean, what is so wrong with me, Dad, that I totally misread him? Nothing's wrong with you, girl. Way to figure out which one of them it is. Lie detectors. No, Dad. Waterboarding. That's illegal. If it's good enough for the CIA, it's good enough. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we're not going there. Get ready to make the most important playlist of your life. We're gonna need you to take one for the team. Uh-oh, what does that mean? Um what's all this? Yeah, this is strange. And she definitely looks like she does she did not plan this, so. Oh my oh. god. What's going on? Oh my god. And once I did something inside oh my of me, I just, oh. just clicked. My god. I know. I've been a very bad boy. All right, let's see Maybe it. I should... let's see. I'm ready. <laughs> oh. Can be arranged. <gasps> oh, I felt that. Oh, what the, what the, what the... Yeah, you feel that? Oh my god. Listen to your heart. When it's calling for you. I with Melanie this morning and she sounded very excited to see us. What's that smell? Those are the hounds. <gasps> Aww, pups. So she's just like taking what she can get. I guess so. Maybe she always does this. I don't know. A pizza guy bomb. <laughs> okay, we just need to pretend like we can. Why don't you just take it with you? Another on human anatomy, which you would need to cut Gigi's head off. Do you need a human anatomy course to cut off a head? <laughs> I mean, like the fact that her social security number is one two three four five six seven eight nine, and her home address is Sesame Street. <laughs> She's the baby in the bathtub, the last red level killer. Where are the Chanel's right now? But which one? I don't remember them saying which one they, they were talking about. They didn't. Fuck. <laughs> oh. Any guy swiping right on you is a miracle. So go. <laughs> no, I'm good. You know, I've never heard this song fully. Really? I've only heard that one part. How am I supposed <laughs> to live without you? Uh, here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I never knew sex could be like that. At first I was like, I was like, wow, she's being really loud. <laughs> <laughs> Stunned at how flexible you are. I, mean, I thought you had to be a gymnast to get both feet behind your head. Do you intend to come to a point? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Your daughter. Uh -huh. She's gonna have to go. What's that mean? I'm just being honest. I find her unbearably annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Oberlin, I know. I recognize the island splash scent of that douche you use. <laughs> She looks like Jason Voorhees. Wait. Voorhees. He's all disfigured from that toxic waste that got slashed in his face. What movie are you even referring to? Jason Goes to Hell. That's the only Friday the 13th movie you've seen? <laughs> <laughs> well, you look great. Don't patronize me. I look like a monster. Toxic Avenger. That's who I was thinking of. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go in there. Melanie, I just want to say <sighs> that I hope you run in hell, bitch. <gasps> Never I apologize for nothing. Melanie Dorcas is the killer. <laughs> Wait, is she? She is a sister. And think that I put acid in your spray tanner when I didn't. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't kill anybody. Can it, Dorcas? Girl, you can't just be going around with scissors. It's Hester. <gasps> Hester is the red devil. Stop it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh 
Oh my god. Oh my god. So much is happening. Did you hear that? I think it came from Chanel's closet. Girlfriend, what are you doing here? What? Why does she look so evil? In her profile picture, it's the guy from Nickelback cut out of a magazine. Oh You're saying god. you would have been no. okay if it was the guy from Nickelback? <laughs> oh. like Man, people have been shaming Nickelback for years. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Oh. Esther is the killer. Pete's dead, Boone's dead. Who could have done this to her? <gasps> oh. Ow. 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 Red. Devil. Wait, that, that would explain it. She's the only one there. No. Ah. Right, guys that was our reaction to episodes 11 and 12 now this was literally like super juicy episodes uh -huh. like this is and it kind of made me sad because i feel like the vibe switched very fast because the previous episodes were so like laid back and fun and we had time for jokes and just laughing all the time also like i love that like during all these like reveals denise was nowhere to be found like give us more denise mm -hmm. she was not in the last episode at all she's busy being the chief of police now. that's true but that's she true. should be involved in, the, in this process but i don't know i feel like this show with having one more episode left is not gonna make it easy for us yeah it could be like and this is something that i really like about this show is that even with episodes 11 and 12 they revealed so much but left us still on a cliffhanger mm -hmm. so that means on the finale episode they could really like dive deep into like maybe the backstory how everything happened right Ooh, yeah it's not like they waited until episode 13 for the for the reveals and they had reveal after reveal after reveal and then it happened so fast at an end of episode you know like they took their time and i really like that they kept us interested like even in this uh, in this episode it was mainly like trying to chase down who the fucking killer was well and even who's at the, the end, next person we don't know for sure we exactly. have one person with a shoe in their eye pointing at somebody else yeah i just thought this this all was really great and as i was saying before i think the episode's vibe changed like you can tell they were like okay it's about it's time to wrap it up it's yeah. getting a little bit more serious like it's time to really reveal like the mo motivations for some of the killers like with pete um i actually think that uh, that was a pretty heartbreaking kind of motive you think well because i from what i gathered is that he himself was bullied and felt very very like scorned by the chanel's and just the the idea of fraternities and sororities and they were like this needs to be stopped like he needs to break the system and sororities and fraternities aren't they don't have a great reputation yeah I, um which I, I think that was like the little bit of real life that they were kind of touching upon even though it was like like i think it was a good motivation for a killer like yeah i mean i don't know i, I still think that he was that i mean he was clearly very misguided yeah the, just his it, whole, but like, it wasn't it wasn't like oh i wanted to be like in the scoop you know it wasn't something stupid like i felt like oh okay i could feel that you were very affected by this well yeah. and of course he like decided that he would agree to do it as long as grace didn't get hurt but i mean i do have to give props up to the actor because he really was giving unhinged he was giving unhinged he knew that like he needed to keep grace grounded and on his side i think the actor diego bonata like i think he did a really great job with the you know scene and yeah. i think grace the actress did a really great job in oh, that scene awesome. too but i think overall i think everyone is bringing it i love that we're having more kiki palmer um obviously we can't have the focus be on every single person every single time mm -hmm. so i totally understand that uh we got to see a little bit of denise we got more action for jamie lee curtis yep so many fucking great moments um and i do have to say i do ultimately think that our prediction that chanel number five is the other killer will turn out to be true i think it's going to turn out that hester 
faked her way to get in so that she could meet oh, Chanel yeah. because she's going to be like Chanel's biggest fan. I think so. I think that that was a mislead. Um, I, I got to say, like, I mean, I know we shaded Ryan Murphy at the beginning of this of this series when we reacted, but I do still think the show is still strong. Oh, yeah. I mean, at episode 12, it didn't die down. Say what you want about Ryan Murphy. He knows how to do a good season one of a show. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> We're still being shady, apparently. I'm not being shady. He, I mean, this is this is just another law, uh, another thing in the long list of shows that really just come out the gate being great. Yeah. And we've been I loving the season so far. It's I'm, kind of it's it's really bittersweet. Like, yeah. we really want to see the finale, but this summer watch with you guys has been fucking amazing. It's been such a good time. It's been one of the like one of our favorites to like film because yeah. we're just like we're going to sit here for 2 hours and we're just going to be invested in this show. And I'm going to say I have no idea how we are going to turn off this camera and not immediately film the finale. <laughs> but guys, until next time, we have been your stories for horror analysis, criticism, and spooky, okay? And sometimes kooky entertainment. Bye everyone. Bye.